Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Faris Biroslan and I am a food delivery rider who has been serving for four years. I have been a food delivery rider since finishing high school and now continue to serve part-time during the semester break. Recently, there has been a crisis where we are lack of workers because many fresh graduates or SPM graduates choose to become food delivery riders because of the very high possible income and flexibility time of work. However, many individuals do not know the real struggle of being a food delivery rider. In my opinion, to become a food delivery rider, we should prepare ourselves physically and mentally. Preparing yourself mentally means being able to control your emotions in any situations, control your anger, and always be patient. Based on my experience, various situations I have encountered that test my emotional resilience. Among them, I once received an order that needed me to be sent 15 km from the restaurant that was ordered. At first, everything went as usual until I arrived at the area shown by ways. The area I arrived it was a slum area and the arrangement of house and addresses was a bit scattered and unsystematic. I tried to contact the customer but failed to reach. After 30 minutes of trying to contact the customer, I took the initiative to ask the locals about the address. After 30 minutes more of searching and asking, I finally found the house. I still tried to contact the customer and knock on the door. And it took like 15 minutes for the customer to open the door. But my efforts were made with the customer's anger because the sound of knocking on the door woke up his little baby from sleep. The customer also said he fell asleep and I should just call until he wakes up. Overall, for the order that I was hired for only 5 ringgit, it took 2 hours from the time I was supposed to be on duty. <laughs> In addition, I have also faced a situation where I got an order at peak hour which made the order take a quite a while to complete. It took like 45 minutes to prepare and once it was done, I went straight to delivering the food to the designer to address. The house is a condominium house and to make it a story, it was my unlucky day when all the elevators in the condominium were broken and I had to climb the stairs to the 18th floor. As soon as I arrived at the house, the customer was very angry because the delivery is taking too long and the customer also threatened me not to pay for the order. After discussing, the customer finally paid for the order and gave me a one star rate. In terms of physical endurance, we need to have a fit and healthy physical body to riding a motorcycle for a long period of time with a long distance. When it rains or it's hot or maybe there's a severe traffic jam. There is a time when I need to send an order to a place not too far from the restaurants and it was raining. The customer asked me to deliver as soon as possible because her son was hungry. Because of that, I had to wait through the rain to deliver the food and because of that it also caused me to be involved in an accident. All the cause of treatment and pain were fully borne by myself. I also want to add that as a food delivery rider too, we will face losers that are not necessarily caused by ourselves. For example, I was tasked to send 4 types of order to 4 different addresses. When I was shipping the second order to the second address, I found all the food that was still left in my bag gone missing and stolen by an identified individual. And as a compensation, I was the one who had to spend my own money to pay the compensation to customers because their food was lost. Even if it is not your fault, you still need to be responsible to me. But as a food delivery rider, you will not face the bad side all the time. There's something sweet happens sometimes. There is some kind customer that will give you a tip or give you some food or water or they uh, actually order the food for you. And the laziest, they will say thank you once you deliver the order. To conclude this video, let's not judge something only externally. A job that produces a lot of profits requires seriousness and high sacrifice. We should also not underestimate any job because every job has its own difficulties. Oops, I got an order to deliver. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.